Hello everyone out here, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Kingsbed Designs. If you're joining me for the first time, I want to encourage you to please hit on the subscribe button and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any video each time I upload a new video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create barcodes like this. I mean QR codes like this. So I'll be showing you how to create this QR code not only creating it how you are going to be able to validate this code so that any link or address you attach to this particular link to this particular QR code should be the link that will pop up if you scan it with a QR code scanner so now I'm going to be showing you how to do this right away now I'm going to go through I'm going to set this is let me start from the beginning so you see how everything well, I'm going to delete this so now you are what you're going to do you come to you what you're going to do now is for you to come to objects insert and QR code before then there are three to two things you actually need for to create this QR code you need your correct draw application ready and also you need a working internet connection if you don't have a working internet connection this particular qr code you won't be able to generate this qr codes because it needs internet connection to work so once you've come to your object insert select qr code so once you've selected qr code so okay jason just going to try it again it's going to should work so, QR code okay yes yeah, it, it has actually created the QR code for me so now let me zoom this out so that you see it clearly okay now this is the QR code then if I should click on properties you can see there are several properties you can do it you can see you can link it to an email to a phone number to a url sms contact you so you can actually but for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to be making use of url i'm going to be linking it to a url so you can see it came with a default if i should remove this out corel i'm going to use my website currentexplicit.com this is the site I want to be linking this barcode to so that each time you scan this barcode it's going to take you to this particular site so now uh, this currentexplicit.com you can decide to change the color of it and this first one is your uniform so you can decide to change the color of it from here and choose any color so for the sake of this tutorial I'm going to just leave it like this choose a blue now on this one is actually the background well how do you want the background to look like so I'm going to just I'm going to ensure you select when you are selecting any color for the background make sure it says not it clashing with your foreground that's the code color this code color you this your pixel and your marker so you are going to choose a color that will, will be different from the other one so it won't it will be enable so that it will allow it to be able to read when you use your QR code scanner to scan it so let me leave it this way I think I'm okay this way okay before I proceed let me just explain some things to you here you have this QR code here you have like this box this large box you see in these large ones here all these large ones and this one I think there are about four of them here if you actually look at this box this these are what we refer to as our markers they serve as our markers why all these dots dots inside all these things here they are our pick this is what we call refer to as pixels 
so these are pixels and why these ones these four here are markers so now back to let me click on it now back to this side now what you are going to do now is to click on validate click on validate once you've done everything ensure this place is on high if you can i'm not saying it you just hit on this ensure it is on high what it does this does now it will allow so that it will be able to er reduce error so that when you scan it to back qr code scanner it will be able to identify it quickly and faster so now i'm going to click on validate so this particular website will be validated to this so now once i click on validate since your internet connection is still connected it's going to actually validate so it's going to pop up an information telling you that it has already been validated okay here is it now it says that the following message okay you can see that it has already this qr code has been connected to this particular website so this qr code now now points to this particular website so now let's i'm going to be scanning this thing so that you see that it actually works so i'm going to what i'm going to do i'm going to duplicate it into two i'm going to take this here i'm going to duplicate this into two so what i'm going to do now i'm going to this is actually working it has been validated already why this also is also validated already so now what i'm going to do is to for example if i want i want to show you how to add an image if i want to add an image to this particular object what i'm going to do is to come to file come to file import so i'll now go to once i click on import i'll select the logo i want to attach and pick the logo let me use this logo then then i'll just insert the logo yeah you can see this is the logo i'm, I'm using one thing you should note if your logo is too big if you make your logo like if this logo might it might work if i try validating it again it might actually work but if should in case you are using a logo that maybe covers this section a the pixels much it's not going to work like let me try something here let me try validating this again okay so now let me try something now okay let me object barcode object validate barcode then select the barcode okay here is it it has actually worked it has been linked to this so confirm now so now let's try something i'm going to be using my qr code scanner on my phone to actually scan the, these two different barcode and let's see what the result is going to be the one with my logo and the one without the lo logo on it i'm going to scan both of them individually and show you the results so let's see something so i'm going to be going headed to my phone right away all right right now i'm using my phone right now you can see when i scan this other one it actually went straight and gave me the link to that i provided on that webs on that particular qr code let me do that again once i bring it you can see it produce the link if i should click on open it's going to actually take me straight to that particular website yeah here is the website so this particular qr code is working okay let me try the second qr code now this one with the logo you can see it also still works it still works let me do it once again you can see it works so if i should click on the link it takes me straight to the site 
so you can see how I've been able to create this particular QR code and uh, which is actually working okay you can I believe you've learned a lot from this particular tutorial in case you have any difficulty or you have any question to ask you can actually drop in the comment box below I'll try my best to see how to answer to all your questions and also if you have a video idea you want me to actually do for you you can actually drop stay drop on the comment box i will try my best to see how to work on it if you plan in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel please hit on the subscribe button also don't forget to hit on the notification notification bell so that you get notified each time i upload new video until next time that's where we start from here bye